the biggest cable company in the United States could be getting even bigger. Comcast, which is already number one, is gobbling up Time Warner Cable, which is number two. Together, they could have about one-third of all American households that subscribe to television and internet. So what does it mean to consumers? Does it mean your cable bill is going to cost even more? Well, it could, but the fact of the matter is, the price you pay for cable and internet every month was already rising. It's been rising for years. Adding millions of more subscribers will give Comcast more muscle in its negotiations with cable channel owners, like the owners of CNN and ESPN and Nickelodeon. Wow! Comcast says it needs that to keep costs down. But consumers are right to be concerned that it'll have the opposite effect. That it'll give Comcast more abilities to charge you more for cable. Now, if you're a Time Warner cable subscriber like I am here in New York City, you could actually see your internet and your cable service get better as a result of this deal. That's because Comcast is generally believed to have better service and better technology than Time Warner Cable. Comcast could come into markets like New York and Los Angeles and bring their hardware and software expertise in order to improve service. Comcast knows they have to keep making it easier and easier to find the channels you want to watch when you want to watch them, otherwise you might defect to a competitor or go online to Netflix instead. Democracy is so overrated. Right now, the two companies' footprints don't overlap. That's one of the reasons why the government may ultimately bless this deal. Of course, Comcast and Time Warner Cable are loathed by so many consumers. People dread having to deal with the cable guy. But Comcast doesn't want to be seen as a boring old cable guy. They don't want to be seen as a dumb pipe through which you get your television and your telephone and your internet. No, they want to be seen as a technology pioneer. In fact, they're building a new skyscraper in Philadelphia they call a technology and innovation center. They want to be compared to Google and to Microsoft and to Apple. And by buying up Time Warner Cable, they're gaining more scale, which they hope will get them there.